Hey guys, what's up? So this is Recreational 420 and today we're going to be talking about the 420 event that I went to and the whole night's events. <laughs> it was a really good day uh, and I just want to share my day with you guys a little bit. Uh, I'm sorry before I even start for not taking more video. Um, I just, I, I don't know why. I, it's not that I don't know why. I was more into what I was doing and I, when I'm in front of people, I don't, um, I don't like to always be on my phone and doing that kind of stuff. I like to like talk to the people that are around me um, and all that. So it, it was just one of those things. I, I had to spend the time with the people I was with versus like trying to document. <laughs> Anyway, so uh, yeah, so 420 was a trip. First thing we did when we first got into Spokane was we went straight to Satori North, picked up our THCA crystals. Um, and I won't go into this much because I'm gonna do a review on that product on itself. Uh, but yeah, once we did that, we went down over to our hotel room, uh, took a nap. <laughs> we needed a good little nap before we uh, went along with our night. And so, after our nap, we wake up, start walking down towards the venue. I'm navigating, and one thing you should know about me, never let me navigate because I don't know left and right. <laughs> and so what that means is uh, we started walking down, and when it was time to go left or right, well, like I always do, I said left when it was supposed to be right. So I walked us half a mile to a mile the wrong way before my girlfriend was finally, hey, how come our trip went from a five-minute walk to a three-minute drive uh, let me see your phone real quick. <laughs> and she grabbed it, saw that we were going the wrong way, almost punched me. I'm really glad she didn't because, you know, that's domestic abuse and people go to jail for that. Um, but <laughs> she, she would have, if she would have, I would have deserved it. Um, she woke up the next day, her feet were blistered and it was just bad news. So, uh, yeah, I walked us the wrong way. She fixed it <laughs> and took us over to the venue. When we got there, Blue Roots, I'm talking, they made us feel so good. At least me, um, I've been, you know, I'm a promoter and so I've managed, you know, artists here and there. Um, so I know what, it, what artists and rappers and DJs and people like that, uh, the kind of love and attention basically that they get when they walk into a place. And that's exactly what I got. I felt like I was the rapper at, you know, my event doing, you know, meet and greets with people. Um, not to say like, oh, I felt so above everybody. No, 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 no. I felt just, I didn't know what to feel. Um, every time somebody came up and was like, hey, you're the dude who does reviews on YouTube. Like, I've seen your stuff. Was my reaction. <laughs> I don't know how to handle that um, other than thank you. I, I'm just a dude in a room doing reviews and I'm really happy that people enjoy them. Um, I, I'm telling you, I had at least 10 different people come up and genuinely give me real, real criticism, real love and real motivation to just keep going. I mean, I got everything from I love what you're doing to I love that you're articulate. I love that you do them sober. Um, every Everything that I thought might have been a, a, a an issue um, is the reason why they like it. So it just, it made me feel amazing. So Blue Roots, thank you for just that for now. Um, that alone, <laughs> if that's all that happened throughout the night, then that alone would have made the entire night worth going and worth experiencing. But that was just the peak of it. So after we got in, said our hellos, and after we met a couple of people, um, the Blue Roots crew just treated us like VIPs. I mean, they bought us a couple of drinks, they bought us drinks. Um, at the end of the night, two of the employees uh, walked with us over, to, or we walked, after they went there, we walked over there because <laughs> they kind of left us, but it's okay, we found you. Uh, we found our way there. Um, they even bought our dinner. I'm talking like I tried to pay and they would not let me pay for anything. Um, it was just, it was an experience, uh, an experience I'll never forget. And I, even right now, I don't know. <laughs> like I turned red because I, I genuinely don't know how to feel and I don't know how to react other than just thankful 
appreciative of the fact that you guys enjoy what I'm doing and just, ugh, man, I, again, thank you. <laughs> um, I also ran into a couple of people from Bodhi High. I'm terrible with names, so I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Um, I also met Luis from 420 Growers. The only reason I remember your name is because you liked my picture the next day. And I was like, oh, that's the guy I met. I'm going to remember his name. And there's not a whole lot of brown faces. So whenever I meet one in the industry, I'm going to try to make sure that I like I meet you and I shake your hand and say hello. Um, <laughs> also, uh, one of the people from Lilac City Gardens. Uh, the owner of Satori, peace of mind. The owner of Blue Roots was amazing. Like everybody, just everybody, <laughs> everybody who like is in the industry, it seemed like was there that night, um, and just had nothing but love. So, again, it was a great, great, great experience. So some of the things that panned out or kind of started working, um, or here I'll say it this way. So I have a great opportunity. Uh, this really dope 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 little series um that blue roots has been i guess they've been trying to do this already and then they saw that what i was doing and they're going to kind of allow me to now be the person that they do this through so that's really cool um we'll be going to their farm uh here and there and i'm not going to give you guys too many details just know that i'm going to be spending quite a bit of time at blue roots's farm um, going over their growing, how they make their stuff, and just a couple other things here and there. Uh, as you guys know, or if you don't know, I don't like to give a lot of details until I'm actually inside doing something because uh, if you guys are in business or if you aren't, <laughs> one thing you should know, whenever you make plans, um, there's a good chance that they change. Even if they change just slightly, uh, if you go out and say, hey, I'm going to do A, B, C, and D, um, and then turns out two weeks later that you only got to do A and D, uh, B and C got completely dropped because they were no longer relevant for whatever reason. You leave yourself vulnerable kind of to looking sus, <laughs> looking like somebody who isn't trustable or, or not trustworthy, but just somebody who doesn't necessarily keep their word or somebody who talks too much and then doesn't deliver. Um, so all of those things are things that I try to avoid. Um, so that's why I'm not going to give you guys too much more into uh, more detail into that. But um, I got an offer from them to go do that. Definitely going to take them up on that. Uh, I'm going to start working with one of their cooks uh, to do like a cooking section on the channel. Anyway, so I'm really excited about everything that's going to come up. Um, there's a lot of really cool shit that's about to happen. I just can't tell you guys a whole lot of it. But with that, uh, this has been Recreational 420. I'm glad. Uh, I'm, thank you for all of you guys who have subbed. Uh, if you've taken the time to watch this all the way through, you're the real MVP. <laughs> but for real, thank you. You're awesome. Uh, this has been Recreational 420, and I'll see you guys again soon. Is the sunshine?